Hello, my name is David Jackson, and uh, we're introducing our new Maverick HD. And today I'm going to show you how to tune the guitar and how to make sure it's set properly. Here's your chromatic E9 tuning. Chromatic's on top, then your E9. The strings are strung through the top of the finger, similar to our old what we call a showbud fender as well and it dates back further than that into the fender design where you feed your string through it's best to curl that string before you put it in so that it will as it passes through the hole provided it will come up and then you can pull it around so you feed your strings through the hole up here out and back to the key it's got the Showbud standard pickup that we've been making since the early 60s. Our father, Shot Jackson, created the design and we still use the same design to this day. Uh, we've got secrets in here that we do not advertise, but we think they are the, the best pickup produced in the world today. This one here has 16,000 ohms on it and gives you full range. On the ends, you've got your tuning nuts. And as you move a pedal, you will turn, if necessary, the corresponding tuning nut. Right now, I'm moving to 2F sharps. And if I want to change them, simply put them there. On my lower, you turn the wrench around. There's four strings being lowered. These will tune the lowered position. There's one thing that's very important. We tune open tuning with the keys. We don't tune opens on some strings here and on some strings down here. We found through the years that if you tune open tuning with your keys, if a pedal is not quite in tune, you can continue playing as long as your open tuning is in tune. And then when you get the time, you can come around and tweak the pedal down with the proper tuning nut. that I like really well and that the raise overrides the lower I'll show you on our B and C pedals what I call the second and third we're raising the G sharp to A and the E to F sharp right here on the E going up to F sharp that's the E going down a half now now if you, and I'm going to hold that E going down the half. But now I'm going to push the third pedal. It moves at a tone and a half, which is a, a, a sound that's new. So what we've done is we move where the foot pedal raises the E to an F sharp and the knee pedal lowers it to an E flat. What we've done is we've moved it from an E flat to an F sharp. And then when you hold those two pedals and block off one or the other, you're dropping it either a hole or a tone and a half. So you can find a lot of new sound with that setup. Uh, These fingers must be in perfect alignment here. The only way you can adjust them is to adjust these lock nuts on the lowers or overscrew one of these nylon tuners which will put it out of 
alignment with the others. If you've done that, stop, put them back in alignment, and then proceed on with your tuning. These string pullers must be in this alignment. It's got four knees, what we call the standard setup. The right right is lowering the second, a whole tone, and lowering the ninth, a half a tone. And you can feel when the ninth lets go, which is a, a half tone feel, very light feel, but you can tell it. So that you can pick up a half on your second string. This next pedal is raising the one, the F sharp, as well as the seventh F sharp, a whole tone. This is a Lord Green design, or he's the one that came up with that. The stops here stop and control the amount of pull you can put on these pedals. If you were to unlock that and screw it in, you would not be able to pull a whole tone. So these stops are very important to have to allow enough movement to make the pitch go its desired pitch. This pedal here is a lowering of the two E's and the lowers carry an adjustable return spring and they must come back to their stop for open tuning. So you've got one adjustment here on this pedal because it's lower than four and eight, a half a tone. You've got another one right up here on lowering two and nine. Again, increased pressure if the pedal is not returning to its stop, which is allowing it to come back to open tuning and returning to their proper place here. This left left is raising the two E's Again, it has a stop as well. The foot pedals have stops here, and they control the amount of pull you can put on the bell cranks, which is in turn pulling up here on your fingers, adjusting the amount of pull you can do. The second pedal is raising, the first one's raising the two Bs, standard. Nashville setup, the next one here, two G sharps to A, standard again. And the last is your E to F sharp and the B to C sharp, standard again. We think that not only does this instrument have the best sound, the best mechanics, the simplest mechanics, but we also believe that it is the best looking guitar in the market today. And I'd also like to say that for my family and my brother and my daughter and my other children that are involved that uh, we're very grateful and thankful that you guys have been with us since the early 60s at Chobud and a lot of you are still with us today and we want to thank you for that.